Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. So, <clears throat> if you remember way back in December, uh, Kat D started a video challenge uh, on her channel where you had to list what you wanted for Christmas and uh, Franklin uh, McGinnis uh, tagged me in it. And one of the items on my list was a particular Wonder Woman statue of Linda Carter. And I tried to order it through my comic shop uh, during December. Now this came out in 2017, so it's a little bit harder to find. Uh, and this company is actually so new that my, I don't even know if I've shared, uh, told this story before, but my comic guy had no idea what I was talking about when I said the name of the company. Um, so he did look, and, uh, the supplier he, he uses does, uh, sell it, but they were sold out. But recently I went to, uh, Dallas, or really Texas, to visit my cousin, or but, uh, recently I went to Texas to visit my aunt, and, um, we went to a place called Titans Comics. I've made videos about it before, uh, and I found this, I found this in their display cabinet, and at first I, I totally glanced over this, but when I looked again, I was like, that's it. <laughs> So, this baby was coming home with me. She was $250, money well spent. Money totally well spent. I have no objection to spending that much on this statue whatsoever. So, this is Wonder Woman, Linda Carr statue by Tweeterhead. And yes, that is a bird with an eyeball uh, in its beak. Uh, you should go to their website and see the f full like logo on their banner. But... <laughs> In fact, if I remember, I'll link it below. They have, I can't remember if they have Marvel. I want to say they do. They have some Marvel stuff. Uh, but I've seen a couple different Wonder Woman, a couple different Batman. They have Munster Pops, including Marilyn, which surprised me. Um, but they're still a fairly new company. Um, but man, the sculpting work is amazing. I, I've seen it in the glass case, but they put it directly into this box, and I haven't opened it since, so I'm going to get a first you know, a real good first look at it now when we open this, but I want, <laughs> wanted to just point something out. So, it's a one-sixth scale, 14 inches tall. This is going to be one of the tallest statues in my collection, and I'm going to have to move this table so that I don't have the same problem with Barda that I had with Barda when I unboxed her, because if you guys have seen that video, that cord was getting completely in the way when I was trying to unbox her. So, here, now I'll have plenty of room without that cord in the way. But it says the sculptor was Trevor Grove. He did an amazing job. Uh, and it also says, not a toy, not intended for children. If anyone buys a $250 statue intending, it to, give, intending to give it to a child to play with, you're an idiot. Uh, even more so than I am. But, okay, let's go ahead. There shouldn't be any tape to cut because I saw the girl put it back in here. Oh, man. Okay, and uh, I am going to also be looking at the statue itself for a number because there wasn't a COA in the box and they said that it wasn't on the base either. So I'm wondering either A, they're non-numbered because, uh, again, this is a small company. Maybe they're, I don't know, making them still. I don't know. But uh, we're going to see if there's a number anywhere on this thing. Take a good look. Okay. I'm lifting up the styrofoam. I, I, I am so excited. I'm more excited now that, than when I get a bombshell statue. Because I've been wanting this for over two years. Okay. Well, probably about two years. So let's go ahead and... Oh, man. Let's get the base out first. Okay. So now there is no number on the base. So the base goes like this. It's a little bit dusty because, like I said, it was in their display case. What did I just knock off? Oh, it was a flashlight. <laughs> oh, good. Maybe that'll be the la only thing I knock off today and the statue will be safe. But, uh, anyway, let's forget about that. <clears throat> so it goes this way. If you guys have seen the Linda Carter show, then you know that in her logo, in the intro, they have these stars going every which way in the logo all these colored stars 
So this definitely makes sense for this being the base. It's pretty heavy. It's it's not it's not lightweight, I would say, but it's not super heavy either. But it's very very sturdy. I love it. <laughs> I like just the base. That that's when you know you're gonna love the statue when you're in love with the base. Okay. So Wonder Woman herself is one full piece. Let's move the sty styrofoam out of the way. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is beautiful. Okay, so here is Linda Carter as Wonder Woman. Now, Gal Gadot was amazing in that movie. I absolutely love the Wonder Woman movie. It's, it's, it's definitely my favorite. I haven't seen that many of them. But it's definitely my favorite DC movie. Um, and, you know, Gal knocked it out of the park. But Linda... Linda Carter will always be Wonder Woman to me. She is Wonder Woman. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So it's all sculpted. There is no cloth, which I like. So she has the Lasso of Truth on her belt. Oh, man. This is awesome. You can see her bracelets with the star. That's one way to definitely, you can tell that it's, Linda Carter, because I don't think any other version of Wonder Woman wore. She they always wore the silver bracelets, not the gold. And oh man, look at her eyes. I mean, they got they got it perfect. Sculpting on the hair is awesome. Oh man. One thing I would have liked to have seen is a little. Uh, Oh wait, never mind, it is there, you just have to get really close to it. So, I don't know if you guys can tell with my camera, but in the middle of her tiara, the star, there's a small little circle. Like, it's, it's painted over with the red, but you can still see it underneath the paint where they sculpted a circle. Because in her tiara, she had a small little ruby in the middle of the star. So they did add that on there. Oh my gosh. And that, you wouldn't even be able to see it if you didn't know to look for it. That's detail. That is detail. Her eyes are the perfect shade of blue. Oh man. Her outfit itself has like the wrinkles in it. Like it's actual cloth. This is amazing. The boots have the leather detailing in it or in them. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is just gorgeous. The skin is shaded perfectly. This is, I love my Wonder Woman 600 statue. But I think it just took second place. <laughs> this is my favorite Wonder Woman statue in my collection now. Oh man, okay. So let's see if I can get it into the base. So it's got one giant peg in this boot and one smaller one in the back. I like that. <clears throat> A lot of them, even with the DC bombshells, they'll only put one peg in the feet now. Or in the, you know, in one foot. I like the extra security of two pegs. If you guys are hearing that rattling, it's fine. It's just the uh, flashlight about to be knocked off again. <laughs> but there it is. Now, I looked at the bottom of the boots. There still wasn't a number. Um, so I don't know how Tweeterhead is doing the numbering. Uh... For these statues. Oh man, these <laughs> this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I can't remember how much this was uh on the Tweeterhead site, but I wanna say it was actually about three hundred, so I kinda saved money. Uh I could be wrong. I'll check and put it here on the bottom. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. On the way back we went here first when we were doing our shopping for the day 
we went here first and while we were on the way to the mall uh, my aunt asked me what was the one thing in my collection that I really wanted that I didn't have yet and I told her that this statue was high up on that list that <laughs> this statue was very high up on that list because I've had my eyes on it ever since uh, well, ever si since Nerd Therapy did their first Tweeterhead, uh, review on their channel. Because I followed their link to the site, and I fell in love with all the statues there, especially this one. They have a Donna Troy one, they have a regular Wonder Woman, you know, a comic version. Uh, a couple different, um, Batmans, like I said. They have a Harley, I'm pretty sure they have a Joker. Um... In fact, the Harley one looks awesome. Awesome. But, uh, th this is the one I wanted the most. This is definitely the one I wanted the most. <clears throat> if anything, I would like... I kind of wish that the lasso was a little bit more secure on there, because... You can see, you can move it some. Uh, and that's just because of how thin the material is right here. Um, it feels like it's made of like a wire that they glued onto the rest of the statue. Um, so I kind of wish they had went ahead and made that out of the same material as the rest of the statue is. I'm guessing it's ceramic. Um, but that would be my one and only complaint about the statue because... It's beautiful. They nailed every single part of it. Every single part of it. Oh my gosh. You guys know... <laughs> you guys know I love my Funko Pops, but I'm a huge statue collector. And I love my bombshells, but... I love this show, and I love this statue. Oh man. This is beautiful. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and her beauty <laughs> revel in linda carter's beauty oh man i can't get over it. i'm gonna be staring at that for hours uh the fact that i waited i i got back yesterday and filmed the rest of the videos yesterday but i was so tired i had to rest up a little bit so this is the next day and uh it's a miracle i ma managed to wait a full day before unboxing this <laughs> uh to get a good look at her but damn I love it. Hope you all enjoyed looking at this thing uh, with me, watching me gush over it. Ah, dang. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, like always, it's a community, not a competition, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.